Julianne Galina, a more than 30-year technology and intelligence community leader and a two-time WASH 100 award recipient, has been named Deputy Director for Digital Innovation at the CIA. Former Central Intelligence Agency executive Barbara Stevens has been selected to join Babel Street's Board of Advisors. The Defense Innovation Unit unveiled a new strategy with eight lines of effort to accelerate the development of military technologies and take advantage of partnerships with the private sector amid competition with rivals such as China and Russia. National Cyber Director Harry Coker talked about the efforts of his office to implement the National Cyber Security Strategy, including its call for private sector and government coders to ensure that Secure by Design initiatives integrate memory-safe programming languages. Three members of the Senate Armed Services Committee have urged President Biden not to force the Department of Defense to vacate the communication spectrum used for military operations. A cyber threat group called Volt Typhoon is being sponsored by the Chinese government to disrupt critical infrastructure sectors such as communications, utilities, energy and transportation in the continental and non-continental U.S., according to a new cybersecurity advisory led by the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. The federal government is expected to generate $4.9 trillion in revenue in fiscal year 2024 but incur $6.5 trillion in outlays in the same time period, resulting in a projected budget deficit of $1.6 trillion, according to a recent report by the Congressional Budget Office. Elizabeth Kelly, Special Assistant to the President for Economic Policy at the White House National Economic Council, has been appointed director of the USI Safety Institute at the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Join Potomac Officers Club's 5th Annual Artificial Intelligence Summit on March 21, 2024. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. NASA's PACE satellite designed to study air quality, ocean health and the effects of climate change on the ocean and atmosphere launched Thursday aboard SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket from a launch complex at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The Department of Energy's National Energy Technology Laboratory has unveiled a new Earth Energy Data Visualization tool designed to enable optimized data access and enhanced online mapping experience.